Hello, Uncle from TacticalGamer.com here, uh, coming at you with another series um, about ad actions. Uh, it's been quite a few questions, and I see uh, some of the our new mission makers kind of struggling with uh, some of the more um, I wouldn't say advanced, but I guess kind of advanced uh, parameters of ad actions. Because um, I know even myself, I was trying to help somebody the other day and uh, I use these um, parameters very seldom so every couple of months I need to get in there and change some kind of parameter and I forget the syntax so I thought well I'll throw together a video series and that way I can go back and learn from myself um, so in order to do ad actions you can see in this um, description I've kind of mapped out how I'm going to do it there is quite a few parameters here and they're all listed again here and how you might write out an ad action um, but there's a lot to describe a lot of different variable types um, arrays strings um, boolean and I realized that there's a lot to describe in order to use the ad action so then I realized I need to start doing uh, scripting basic kind of series and I've broken up a bunch of videos that I'm going to do and I know that it's kind of duplicating a lot of great work that's out there um, you know uh, hater maker uh, banjo out there are doing great vids and uh, however I realized that if I'm going to explain this my way and it's certainly not an educated way um, then what that means is I'm gonna to have to explain all these things sort of my way so that I know that uh, the people I'm talking really directly to at a tacticalgamer.com that I'm helping when I can uh, we're talking on the same page so I'm not a scripter I'm not a coder I uh, never have been I've learned this stuff by banging my head against the wall until my forehead was so bruised that something seeped in um, so uh, I my videos are for for people that were are in that situation because uh, uh, learning it the hard way is well kind of fun but uh, also not necessary uh, so I try to help out where I can um, so I'm going to do a quick in-game demo here I'm going to talk quickly about the locality of ad actions and then I'm going to sort of abandon this series and work on the scripting basics first and then I'll come back and do these so they'll be coming out in a weird order okay so the in-game demo also figured out that I can open up Arma in a windowed mode and go just switch back and forth without having to stop my capture. Uh, I've got a, a player down here. Uh, let's say uh, I didn't name him. I think I changed the call sign, which I could say uh, good guys. All it does is change the call sign when you type text. It shows up what your uh, call sign will be in the text. Um, I got an object of a skull. I named it skull and I added this add action. This, <clears throat> which will, since it's in the init of this object, will mean is the same thing as if I type skull. Uh, add action and then there's an array. The first um, element of the array is the script, the, the text you want to show up in the add action on your scroll wheel okay and then what it's going to do which is basically when it it's going to call a script I have written called skull action one dot sqf it could be calling a script or it could execute code in this uh, example all the other parameters that I you saw in that big list are all optional okay I have an object down here of a um, AI unit uh, I've named it competitor okay and I think I also named his call sign to be team blue okay now if I jump over and look at the mission folder I created a script called skull action one right that I referenced in the ad action let's uh, bring it up um, Okay, I had rewritten it. So basically, previously when I did a previous take of this. So let's write the script. Uh, basically, it is going to say competitor. 
um, side chat. So it's just going to make them say something uh, in the text chat of the game. And he's just going to say, hey, talk to me, not my skull buddy. So I save that. And basically, when I walk up to the skull, I'll get the scroll wheel action. I'll hit the uh, talk to skull. And then the competitor is going to reply to me. And that's basically how an ad action works. So that's what we're going to be talking about in this series. When I look directly at him, I get the option, talk to Skull, and I get the side chat. Hey, talk to me, not my Skull buddy, coming from the competitor. Okay, so the locality, what I mean is, is even though this Skull object, it's local to the server. It's part of the mission. So the server, which right now is my own machine, if it was running on a dedicated server, um, it would mean that the object is owned by the server and my playable unit is owned by my own client. So the add action that I get when I run this is because I'm performing the action, the script I'm calling is only run on my own machine. So it's important on add actions to know that. If uh, the competitor there was a playable unit, okay, and the add action was on myself, which I can do, um, I could put um, player add action oh, skull. Uh, what did I name that again? Skull action. Skull action one dot sqf now I've always got the add action talk to skull on me if another player came up to me and used that add action on me nothing would happen for me okay the only person that would see the um, side chat message would be the person that came up and used the add action on me because side chat uh, is local um, and so is that add action uh, the actual action of it so if I wanted to broadcast that message to everybody else then you would have to use remote exec to broadcast that side chat message from the competitor to all connected clients not going to get into that but now we understand the locality so that's the basic once over of the ad action series I'm going to go back do some of the scripting basic stuff and then come back in and do the the rest of the series so and then video two uh, is just going to list all these parameters really quickly so you understand them video three is going to go over the script or code uh, parameter uh, and then I'm going to go over the condition parameter last because it's a bit more involved and I'm going to lump all the rest of them which are pretty easy uh, all together so that's Uncle from Tactical Gamer. I hope the video series uh, works out for you and hope you can stick with it or at least that it's helpful. Okay, ciao.